Barely a day goes by without news of more suffering involving people living in Iraq. The war and the subsequent civil conflicts dominated international news ever since the US-led invasion back in 2003. The turmoil has been portrayed several times uh, by foreign playwrights reflecting on how Iraq descended into war. But this week a new play is opening here in London, exploring Iraq from an Iraqi perspective. So Marcus George went along to find out more. Well, I'm here at the Soho Theatre in central London and it's introducing its latest show called Baghdad Wedding. It's a play which follows the story of a group of Iraqis based here in London who go back to Baghdad for a wedding celebration. With me to watch the performance is Omar. He's an Iraqi refugee who's been in London for just one year. Omar, it's about to start, so uh, let's go and take our seats. We didn't meet in Baghdad. Both our families left Iraq around the same time, just after the first Gulf War. First time I met Salim was at Imperial College. I was studying to be a civil engineer. He was already halfway through his medical degree. He saw me eyeing the cover of his book. Sexuality and eroticism amongst males in Muslim societies. Then without looking up from his page, he asked me in playing Iraqi. Intamin Baghdad? One look and he knew. It was as if he smelt Baghdad in my clothes or saw the tigress in the parting of my hair. At the rear were Salim and his cousins on a pickup truck. Dancing, singing, drinking, firing shots in the air. A wedding is not a wedding in Iraq unless shots are fired. It's like in England, where a wedding is not a wedding unless somebody pukes or tries to shag one of the bridesmaids. It's just the way it goes. Well, we've just come out of the performance, and still with me is Omar, but we're also joined by the playwright Hassan Abdul Raza. Now, this is very much about a group of friends who are Iraqis but living in London. To what extent does that reflect your own life? From my own experience, I left Iraq quite young. I left, uh, well, very young, actually. I left uh, at the age of eight. So what I know about Iraq is from the various Iraqi communities that have scattered around the world. I, I lived in Egypt, I lived in Algeria, and then I, I came to London. And even here in London, you have a very active Iraqi community that has uh, in its cafes and in its Baghdad enclaves. And, and so that's very inspiring to, 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 to know these people, to live amongst them. And I was more interested in, in catching moments that are away from the war. But uh, I was interested in the kind of private life aspect of, of particularly secular middle-class Iraqis. How did you go about writing the play? You haven't been back to Iraq yourself uh, since you left many years ago. Really what drove me to it was after participating in the election here and suddenly sort of you knew you were going through an experience that your, your, your fellow countrymen are, are going through. And just that collapse of the distance for, for just a brief moment, it, it made me think. Part of you was hopeful in, about this election in a sort of psychological way, even though you know that really it's a false optimism. I weaved into it um, various accounts from um, family, friends, and, and so on, and, and made the story uh, to reflect the situation of, of people living in exile, going back, their reflection on what is happening in Iraq, on, on the invasion, on the rise in Islamism. Well, still with me is Omar. You've been in London for one year. What's your initial reaction? It was really very good acting, and the sense of humour is something very good. It was good. But I think that uh, you used a lot of alcohol in the, in the play, I don't think, though, that the Iraqi people, they like a lot of alcohol like this. And the other thing, uh, the way that you picture the, the group in the Fallujah and everything, seeing the Quran and how they did, I just don't like it because it's not reflects with the reality. Uh, I don't think there is a one Iraq. I mean, there's nobody that can have an authority on that. I know Iraqis that do drink like that. All the, play, all the scenes with the drinking are in private moments. Us Iraqis have many, many different experiences and many different backgrounds and ethnicities and cultures, and I captured the group I know. As for the Fallujah and the insurgency, it's probably very heavy in symbolism, I, I, I do agree. But I tried to capture various stories that I've uh, both read and also that were told to me by people who went to Fallujah at that time. 
as an Iraqi who lives in Iraq, I think it would be much interesting for me to see how the Iraqi people are suffering. I think that will be more affected to the Iraqi people, how, how they are suffering more than, you know, just uh, depicting something like sexual things or... I, I live in London. I've been living for 10 years. I go to the theater all the time. What you just said has been covered uh, in great detail in documentaries, in theater, through what I created, by having these characters, by seeing their fun lives, then when they suffer even just a little bit, you will feel the pain of everybody else. Whereas if you just come on head on with pain, 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 you actually get the opposite effect. <laughs> music. Hassan Abdurazak there and Omar Sadiq Daoud talking to Marcus George of the World Today team.